So this is the new Scratch 2. This is the installed version. I like to call it the installed version. It says it's the offline editor. I guess that's because they've switched now to wanting to drive people to having uh, the online editor. But you can see here, this is just an install window. Um, and if you are using a Mac, you'll notice the buttons are different, but you already knew that. And if you're using a newer version of Windows, then you'll notice it has rounded corners and all that good stuff. But essentially, it's exactly the same uh, as what you would expect. Um, and so for those of you new to Scratch, the big difference between this new version and the old version is that there used to be one control area. And uh, what there is now is an events area. They've broken these out. These used to be in the control area. And so now this is a little bit makes a little bit more sense with events and controls. Uh, another th new thing is they've added in the controls the ability to create clones, and I can explain more about that later, which is pretty cool. Um, and uh, by the way, control area is all about um, loops and conditional statements and the various varieties that they have. And the other new thing is the possibility to make your own block. And uh, oh, and so my new block. And then you can uh, use it later on. Uh, so it's pretty awesome. So those, that's just a quick introduction to Scratch. Um, you'll also notice that with your sprites now, uh, in order to rename them, there used to be things up here that you could change. Uh, there's co there's costumes. And the costume editor is built right in. And there's sounds. And sounds is still very similar. If you want new sounds from the library, you can just uh, double click to add them. Um, but the buttons up here don't rename anything anymore. Now it's with this blue eye. So you click on the blue eye. And now if I want to rename this, I can call it Kitty Cat. Um, and there's a number of different possibilities here. I can change the rotation of it or leave it where it was if I can get it perfectly. There we go. Uh, I can also change the rotation style. These buttons, again, used to be somewhere located up here. Uh, no, it can't rotate. It can only go side to side. Um, you'll just see here. Now, it, even no matter what direction it's going, it only goes side to side. At least it only looks like it's going side to side. Um, or no rotating at all. And can it drag when you're actually playing the game? And you can check that or not. And then do you want to show it or do you want to hide it? So that's all under this blue eye now. And when you want to create new sprites, you have um, your different choices are here. And there's a new one, which is take it from the webcam, which is a, a very interesting and new option. Again, similar ones down here for your stage. And your stage is now, it's a definite different um, object. You can't. Uh, confuse it. Sometimes before uh, we were getting confused with the two objects, but hopefully it'll, you'll have an easier time. You still got stop and go there right here. Um, and you can also make it smaller so that your video game window is uh, smaller and then your blocks is, is larger, uh, your code blocks is larger. And this also will let you zoom into the blocks. I'll just do a quick sample here. Uh, where we can zoom out so you can see lots of blocks or you can zoom in and you can go to equals which is would be the 100 uh, percent view and then we can just zoom back and now we've got our full video screen back and if you want to go to full screen that's now hiding up here and there's your full screen video game if you're creating one we'll just go back so that's just a quick walk through um, just remember as with the old version of scratch is that there's all these different choices based on the um, palette that you choose. Uh, sensing is one of my favorites, so please keep that in mind. And operators is for those of you looking to do math or looking to get it to say something specific. And then more, more blocks again back to make a block. So that's just a quick introduction to Scratch 2, the installed version.